Happening now, the first day in the federal tax fraud trial of Orleans Parish District Attorney Jason Williams is now underway. WDSU's Aubrey Killian is covering this trial for us, and he brings us the very latest on what's happened so far this morning. Aubrey. Hey, that's right. So this is going to be the start of a very long and lengthy process. If Jason Williams is convicted, he could serve time in prison, lose his law license, and have to step down as the New Orleans District Attorney. So take a good look at your screen. I want to show you some video from earlier this morning right here outside of the courthouse. So today the judge noted a plea deal was offered, but both Jason Williams and his law partner denied it. Jason Williams is accused of 10 felonies dealing with tax fraud. His law partner, Nicole Burdett, is also accused of filing personal expenses as business expenses. Records show this was between 2013 and 2017, involving hundreds of thousands of dollars. This trial, guys, it could take two to three weeks. Today, they are narrowing down the jury. 93 men and women from all across the state, they are being screened. Jurors, they will be allowed to return to homes, but they cannot discuss this case with anyone or watch any media coverage. Today, one potential juror was asked to leave because she was sleeping, or he was sleeping, rather. Another was excused because she wasn't feeling well. Here's what Jason Williams had to say this morning. Anything glad to say on your way in? I'm glad this day's here. You're glad it's family here? Good to see you. Do you expect to be able to go ahead and prove, prove your innocence? We're going to do it all in court. So there you have it. You can hear it. Jason Williams had very little to say this morning. Right now, court is in recess. It is expected to pick back up at about 1215. Stay with us on this developing story. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you. And so how did we get here? WDSU anchor Travers Mackle takes a look back at the charges and the case against Jason Williams. Jason Williams was indicted by a federal grand jury, sent shockwaves across New Orleans. It was summer 2020, and the feds say Williams wrongfully and knowingly manipulated his tax returns. According to the federal indictment, Williams and his law partner, Nicole Burdett, who's also indicted on the exact same charges, conspired to reduce Williams' tax liability from 2013 through 2017, those tax years, by classifying personal expenses as business expenses. That allowed Williams to allegedly escape paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. He also allegedly took cash payments over $10,000 on three separate occasions and then failed to report that money for tax purposes. Williams, an always outspoken politician, has said very little on the charges over the last two years, except that he's not guilty. Back in the fall of 2020, during a WDSU debate, Williams, a Tulane Law School grad, laid blame on the charges, saying it was a political witch hunt by then President Donald Trump and his attorney general, Bill Barr. I got a target on my back because I stood up against Bill Barr and Donald Trump and Leon Cannizzaro. Bill Barr is a smoking gun that shows this is a bogus prosecution because he was here on the first day of early voting saying you don't want a progressive DA. Barr was in New Orleans that day but for a scheduled speech to law enforcement leaders. Bill Barr resigned shortly after the 2020 election where Donald Trump lost and the charges against Williams remain in place under President Joe Biden and his attorney general. The trial has been delayed one as the feds appealed a ruling and the second time after the original trial judge the Honorable Martin Feldman died. The case is now assigned to Judge Lance Afric and Afric has ruled that Williams and his defense lawyer Billy Gibbons cannot use race or political motivation as a defense as to why Williams is charged. Williams plans to lay blame on a tax preparer, Henry Timothy. Timothy has pleaded guilty to other tax fraud crimes and will be a centerpiece for this trial. Williams' former law partner, Bobby Hortzberg, has pleaded guilty to one misdemeanor and is set to testify against his former boss at trial. Williams' ex-wife is also listed in court records as a potential witness. The feds are set to bring in witnesses who specialize in complex tax issues and their success rate at trial in cases like this is good. Their conviction rate is above 90%. That was Travers Mackle reporting, and this trial could last two to three weeks, and WDSU will be following it closely the entire week. Now, we will bring you the very latest developments both on air 
and on all of our digital platforms as soon as they become available.